So I just got back from Business Command 1, which I have been making like a weekly thing. Um, yeah, but it is currently 8, 13 minutes past 8 p.m. right now, and I can't really do a Pixel Art Sunday. So I'm recording this tonight for tomorrow, which is today for you. Um, something that has been overlooked the past few years is box art for video games. And it, uh, yeah, for something that used to be like the main selling selling point for a lot of games, like you you go in the shop when you're little, you're just like going around, you see like um, you know a box art could tell a game, and you're just oh this game looks so, this box art looks so cool, I want it, I want it, I want it. You know box acts as would usually sell a game, but nowadays we've got trailers, trailer analysis. And um, the internet, so we usually have our opinions of a game before it's even released. And box arts just don't get as much as as much love as they used to. So I'm gonna start a new series where I go over some box arts of video games uh, that I particularly like. Now I won't go too in depth to them um, unless I just like. Yeah, I don't really know why this box art's like this, so I've looked it up, like, look up um, the inspiration behind the get this game box art, and it, um, you know, tell you what this inspiration is. Um, but right now, we have this. Wait, that's not a box art. That, that's a donut. That's for after the video. Um, we have this. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I am starting with a Switch game, but I will also be doing like Xbox, PlayStation games, and um, older games, like from the 8 and 16 bit era, NES, SNES, Atari. But, um, I just want to talk about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild quickly. Because, while I said, well, yes, all, you know, like I said, trailers and the internet have, you know, sort of. You know, replaced it. They did. They did do a lot of work for the Breath of the Wild box art. So here's this. They put a lot of thought into this. Like, you know, you may just like, well, it's just Link standing in high walls. It's like, yeah, that's because uh, Link uh, does. You know, with the Breath of the Wild, how are you supposed to, um, supposed to like, um, get across? you know, the openness of the game. And I think they go across it really well because, you know, you have Link. Obviously you're going to be Link. And it's just like this whole open area for you to explore. Now, this isn't into even uh, like one part of like Hyrule. Like they could have like, um, you know, picked a better place to do it. But it's still, this is, uh, you know, getting the point of, of Breath of the Wild across quite well. You know, it's you, it's, you know, just like Link, you, the character, exploring this big open land. And, it, um, yeah, it is a simple box art, but it gets, you know, it, uh, you know, g gives you the message it wants to. And, um, it is just really uh, nicely done. I don't know if the camera can that well, but it is really nicely done. Like, I don't think this is actually captured in game this I think this is this is actually been um drawn on like a computer rendered on a computer or something um, separately obviously because links to so I think all of that had I could be wrong like feel free to uh, correct me down in the comment section but that doesn't look like a screenshot in a game to me so it looks like they had to like um, render this in a computer or even draw it themselves I doubt they drew it I could be wrong, that, that grass does look hand-drawn to me, but I don't know. Um, and a lot of, you can tell a lot of effort went into this, and to be honest, you know, like I said, uh, again, you know, having to depict a, gay, depict a game as big and open as Breath of the Wild in one picture, I think they did pretty well for it. Yeah, pretty well. And it, um, yeah, it is a really nice box art. Like, it's not the best, like, 
No, I'll put, uh, if this series does, like, go on for a while, I'll probably find a bunch better than this, but this is an above average box I like. Uh, I'd have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Like, this is really nice, but, um, no. I, there are, there's just not that much happening in it, I guess. Like, um, what, something they could have done is, like, have, like, a guardian or a bog goblin camp there, or, um, like, have Hyrule Castle in the background with Calamity Ganon circling it, and, like, have him facing towards the camera, like, Link, and with his eyes glowing or something. If they did, uh, and like have a one of those flying guardians around here, if they did that, then that would put this up to like a 9 out of 10. But, yeah, it just, there's really just not that much going on in it. And I, I, do, I do like how they laid out the back as well. I, I might go over the back if there's anything interesting on the back, but, you know, the back is where, you know, before trailers you would know what the game is all about. And, race survive yeah that looks yeah fight for the future of Hyrule and Amiibos yeah uh, there we are Amiibos and you know what uh, this I really like how Nintendo is still supporting Amiibos even though the like toy to life genre is pretty much dead Amiibos are still being supported and being made, and that's why I'm collecting them because I love Amiibos. I think you are not ready, ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Like that—that that is a nice little quote. I don't even think that's in the game. Yeah, that's not even in the game. That I don't think I don't remember that being in the game. So they made a little quote, uh, quote there. The princess has been waiting an awfully, awful long time. And look, no. There you go, that wasn't in it. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a longer time, Link. So yeah, you've got some cool quotes. You've got screenshots from the game. And you've got the... Um, Official Nintendo seal of quality. What is it called again? Nintendo quality seal. Nintendo original Nintendo seal of quality. So yeah, it is. You know, a really good box art. Like, of course, obviously there's gonna be better ones. Um. Oh, and. Something else I want to mention quickly before we end this video. Um, not a lot of games do this, but inside you have Link climbing a mountain. Like seriously, that is really nice. And it, um, it's something that a lot, not a lot of um, Switch games actually do. Like here, if I go into my bag. My cat hates just like instructions. Insane trilogy, a bit of text. Instructions for game and customer support info. Mario Odyssey. You have the lyrics for Jump Up Superstar. So yeah, and I obviously will be reviewing all of these game cases. In a, in a future video, um, well, I really want to see, and I will get to all the games first, uh, well not first, but I will be getting to all the games eventually, but first, I want to look at how, um, look at the more newer, um, you know, box arts and, um, you know, eventually compare them to um, all the counterparts, because I've got the NES and SNES Classic, and I do believe they have the box arts on them, so we can comp 
compare um, some of the newer box arts to um, box arts of uh, the NES and SNES. Um, and if there's a game you want me to review, you know, put box art that you want me to review, put it down in the comment section. Um, and if I don't have the game and I can't get the game, I will uh, just like Google the box art and I'll, um, you know, just put it into like Microsoft Word or whatever and get a window capture and just, uh, you know, talk about it. But yeah, you know, again, uh, recommendations for box arts to review down in the comment section and tell me, what's your favourite box art? Um, to be honest, it's not really something I've thought much about and maybe once it, you know, maybe when I go, you know, maybe during the series I'll be like, this is my favourite box art that we've looked at so far or, and maybe by the end of this I might actually find a box art that I really love. Anyway. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye. Right, so this is the morning after I did the video. Last night I was um, working on making the thumbnail and I was talking with uh, my friend Max um, about the thumbnail um, and the series. Um, because he was like, ah, and he said to me, I said to him that I was reviewing Breath of the Wild box art and he was like, eh, I prefer the um, American version. I was like, Wait, there's a unique version for America? So we're going to be talking about that um, right now. So, here we have uh, the box art that the rest of the world um, has. Uh, is the one I reviewed earlier on in this video. So yeah, you all recognise that. And here is the American version. Right, so differences. Uh, you can see that the same mountain here. It, you know, these are the same mountain. Uh, mountains. Um, so the camera in this one is a little bit to the left. So to put that mountain there. And this time we actually have um, Hyrule Castle in the background. Um, we're missing these mountains, this grass. And like you have a little bit of grass here, but um, instead of grass, he's standing on a rock. Link standing on the rock. You still have Link, but he's not facing towards the camera. Um, can I zoom in on this? No, I can't. Um, so yeah, the cameras uh, were missing like entire parts of the screen. Um, and the camera's a bit further up, so we're missing about that much there. So we can't see pretty much this entire area. Um, and it's and the sun is low rather than in here where you can't really see the sun, but we presume it's high. It's missing the leaves here, and then um, we have some beards that weren't in it. Yeah, and it's a bit cloud. It's a bit more cloudy, I think. You, you just, anyway, so um, let's talk about this. So that's the differences, we can get rid of all of them now. Um, there's probably more that I'm missing, but those are just like the differences I've noticed. Um, right, so. Um, what does this, you know, does the US version ha improve any, upon anything where the, well, the rest of the world doesn't, you know, improve upon the original? Um... Well, I, just, I wouldn't say really improve, it changed it up, you could, you could say it's better or worse in your opinion, but um, it's just like it doesn't do anything to universally improve it. It has a little bit more going on with the birds, but it still doesn't have like any guardians or moblins or anything in it. Um, uh, so, or not even Calamity Ganon, and, like you have the um, Hyrule Castle. Well, they didn't put Calamity Ganon in. Actually, is that... Uh, no, I don't think that is. Anyway, so... Um, my opinion of the US one, it's alright. Minimal changes, um, but it is, it is alright. It looks alright, um, and I don't know if the inside of the case has changed. It has not from what I... Uh, it, um, yeah, 
If you know any more of changes like this, where like um, the US or Europe or Japan or anywhere had like a um, unique box art, and I'll probably like review them. But um, I, I probably I probably won't do Japanese box arts um, with the uh, Western world's box arts because I I think um, Japan has a lot of like exclusive box arts, so they'll probably be like in their own videos, like the most notable ones. Um, but yeah. Just thought I didn't mention that, um, because it uh, is a change with, uh, um, mention, hold on a second, yeah, in the US version Link's holding the Master Sword by the looks of it, but it's not holding Mustard, I don't know, is that a Master Sword, it's a bit hard to see, um, but it's definitely a different sword than what Link's holding in the Western version. Same shield, same bow, same clothes, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.